Hi guys, in this short video I'm going to demonstrate how to easily compress video files whilst barely losing any of the video quality. So by compressing your videos you'll be able to transfer and upload them much quicker. As an analyst or coach I understand it's a fine balance between keeping the video quality high whilst minimising the file sizes. So the program I'm going to use to do this is called Handbrake. So Handbrake is a completely free video transcoder that you can download for both Windows and Mac. To download Handbrake, just search it, search for it in Google and you'll see it right away. So, there we go. So, this is what Handbrake looks like. So, first of all, don't be phased by all of the options and terminology. I'm going to run through the settings that we have tested and know to work, and they're really simple. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is select the video that you want to compress. You do this by clicking the source here in the top left. Okay, so we'll go there and we'll select this video here and open. Okay, so as you can see, the video has now been loaded in and it's ready to compress. So the first thing I always do is change the name of the output file so I can distinguish it from the original. So in this example, I'm just going to add the word compressed to the end. Okay, so next we want to go ahead and tick this web optimized. Okay, so once that's done, the next step is to choose how much to compress the file by. So this slider is basically a scale. So the more we move the slider to the left, the smaller the file will become. But this will also reduce the quality, so it's about finding the correct balance. As you can see, there we go. So I found by moving this maybe two or three numbers to the left will be sufficient and it also limits any loss of quality. So once we've selected the number we want to go with, we click start. So I'm going to go to, and there we go, and go ahead and click start. Okay, so you'll now see the progress bar at the bottom. So whilst that's working, I'll show you one that I did earlier. I did do a few attempts, um, each with a little bit more compressed than the other. So if I get those videos up, Okay, so as you can see, three ones that I did earlier, and the file sizes. We've got 2 gig, 2.3, 2.56. The original file was 3.2. So as you can see, um, the files have reduced. If I go on the one that's 2 gig, let's have a look. As you can see, the quality is still relatively high. There we go. So yeah, I mean this this one this example in particular has reduced the file size by around 40% whilst keeping the quality. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like or share and thanks for watching.